Lord forgive me for this trap shit Sergeant Smack make it backflip Telly Hank it with the action With the vital speaking Spanish Frank Matthews how I vanish Poof Came back like I'm King Tut Gold BBS is on a beamer When Fat Cat was tearing queens up Fall off the prop and not the re -up. Fly like Puerto Rican Jesus Uptown like I'm Baby Main Just caught a touchdown From the base Linky the kid, what's good, baby? Hey, man, what it is, Freeze? You know what we do, man. You know we here at Regulate, man. You know, hood. Oh, man, I had to come to Queensbridge and you know, see you, man. <laughs> Lake from the hood. That's had people, you know what I mean? And when Lake came home, I think Lake did like 10 years or something like that. You know what I mean? When Lake came home, like, we was all cool back in the days. We used to hang out, have fun. So I get back in my car, pop the engine, and I get the gun out. You know what I'm saying? So I'm thinking, because some of my people's in this car. You know what I'm saying? Like, they probably don't got nothing to do with the situation that just took place. You know what I mean? They just happened to be in the car. You know what I mean? My man Cormega was in there. You know what I mean? And one of our other men was in there. And that stopped me from really shooting that car. Because I wanted to shoot the fucking car. Some niggas had me pissed. So I'm like, what the fuck? Who these niggas think they is? Like, I mean, like, that, <laughs> like, like the nigga. Hey, listen, man. If you gonna light something up, what the fuck is you lighting the car for, nigga? Exactly. Everybody's standing outside the car. What are you gonna shoot the car for? Car ain't do nothing to you, nigga. Come shoot the nigga that knocked you out. The other nigga that you think set you up with is me. Shoot somebody. Fuck you, you light the car. Nigga and, and nigga and all the niggas that I'm talking about is right from here, from Queensbridge. So it wasn't nothing for you to find the niggas. Niggas came after that and came right back here. So if you felt you wanted to light something up, you had the gun in your car, you should have came right back here and hit something, nigga. Ain't no motherfucking light the car. What kind of shit is that? Nigga, what the fuck you think this is, man? The fucking movie? Light the car. Nigga, shoot somebody. Nigga, come hit something. Like the car, why we gonna like the car? Shot, Fuck out of here. <laughs> I mean, like, oh, I can't cross a nigga. Like, a nigga got to cross himself, man. I don't do that. Ain't in my mm. blood, man. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no nigga I ever fuck with that I don't still fuck with unless they violate it. You know what I'm saying? You can judge a nigga by the company you keep, but I keep mine, nigga. This nigga right here building me since motherfucking up north. Nigga. IBG, nigga, Lake you know what I'm recipe spank. These, nigga, nigga, these nigga. niggas were motherfucking my goons from the block since we was like fucking 10 years old, nigga. I don't cross niggas. That ain't in me, nigga. You know what I'm saying? I give a nigga a rope, he be gonna climb and hang with it. This nigga hung himself. That's mm. what the fuck happened. Mm. He played himself. You know what I'm saying? He had all these niggas out here. When I came home, that didn't have no love for him. Spank, mm. motherfucking Sherm, Tough, the hood, the mm. real gunslinger, the nigga that's in jail right now for body. Sherm. Got double life. Was 80 years. Mm. Tough got motherfucking life right now. Fucking Spank mm. is gone. Know what I'm saying? These Rest niggas. Know what I'm saying? These, my my dude died busting his gun. Oh, All my niggas oh, is gone. Oh. These are the same niggas that wanted to get them. And I came home and I'm like, nah, son. Listen, we got bigger plans than that. We ain't gonna be robbing these niggas and taking their chains, doing all that shit. Like, nah, nigga, let's get this paper. Mm. All of us just came home. Niggas is doing five, seven. Nigga, we left. We was. Juvenile, mm -hmm. nigga. We home now on some grown men or some G shit. Let's get some money, nigga. Step it up. We seen these niggas eating while we locked up. Let's mm -hmm. come home and motherfucking read through awards. Let's go home and try to, you know what I'm saying? Like, like, um, try to extort. You know what I mean? Like, try to extort niggas and put pressure on niggas. Like, 
nigga, fuck you. Who you think you is, man? Like, you supposed to be this tough guy. Everybody's supposed to be scared man. of you. Man, <laughs> <laughs> is this you true, man? This is crazy, man. They be painting their old pictures, man. Like, what the fuck are you talking about? Like, I do what I do, man. However I move, that's how the fuck I move, man. Nigga, stay the fuck out of my yeah, business, yeah. man. What are you talking about? Starting. Like, you trying to, you be working with, man. I don't, nigga, I just make my moves and do what I do, nigga. I was coming out here trying to get legit, nigga. I did an album, a motherfucking independent album and brought niggas together to do records that wasn't even fucking with each other. Like, you know what I'm saying? But I'm a lion. So if a nigga see a lion talking to a nigga, you think he want to eat him. I ain't always trying to eat niggas. I'm talking about other shit. It ain't my fault you insecure, nigga. I don't be around no motherfucking bull niggas and no thug niggas worrying about what a nigga gonna do and talking about a nigga doing this and that. Nah, nigga. What element you from? Their whole career built over extortion and motherfucking ice picking and gun busting. What you talking about? What Lake doing? Ain't that the right way to go, nigga? The fuck? That's how y'all made y'all living. That's how y'all got your crib, your cars, and y'all motherfucker took care of your kids talking this shit that y'all talking about yeah, Lakers doing. Yo, yo, we back. It's your boy Pop a lot. Mob ties. We on our way to NYC with it. Headshot City. Queens. QB to be exact. I need everybody from Queens. Definitely, I need the whole QB to check in. And it's a lot of y'all, so I know y'all run the comment box up. Now, today, we are going to be covering one of the most notorious figures to come out of Queens Bridge houses. And the person that we're talking about today is going to be a guy by the name of Eli Kim Johnson. But the whole bridge know him as Lakey the Kid. Now, I really can't tell the story of Lakey the Kid without telling the story of Queensbridge. Now, for y'all that don't know, Queensbridge is the largest housing project that we have in the United States. They're going to say it has 3,142 apartments. Now, there were bigger housing projects in the past, but with the demolition of Cabrini Green and the Robert Teller Homes in Chicago, that left Queensbridge being the largest. Now, to round off the top five, we're going to have Altic Gardens, Philip Murray Homes in Chicago. We're going to have Nickerson Gardens, Los Angeles. We're going to have the Charlestown that's going to be in Boston. And we also going to have Wilson Park, Philadelphia. So anybody from any of those places, y'all check in. Y'all let us know how it's going in the day and age of gentrification. It's going to be hard to shut down those housing projects because it's so many people reliant on a place to stay really that's a lot of people to displace but with that being said back to lakey the kid most people that heard the name they might be familiar um if you listen to the classic 41st side album that came out of queensbridge had a lot of queensbridge mcs on them they might have heard him performing i'm sure you heard the names mentioned by nas and I want to say if you read Prodigy's book, that probably gave you a bigger insight on who Lakey the Kid was. And we're going to talk about that beef a little bit, but that really couldn't describe him because, like I said, he was one of the most notorious figures coming out of Queensbridge. And his story starts like a lot of others in the housing project, like we mentioned, Queensbridge. And I want to say this is like the early or to mid 70s making him the prime age to be outside during the mid eighties when everything was going down definitely in New York city. Now it's well documented that he was part of a notorious group from Queensbridge called the good fellas. And some of the members was cliff, a guy by the name of spark, RIP, Trev, ice, super JR, beef stick, karate, Joe, George, and Lakey the Kid himself. And some people mention Cormega inside that group, another gentleman by the name of Nut. That all depends on who you ask. Now, as far as his educational background, it's said that he attended PS11 from the age of eight to 12, and he would transfer on to junior high school 204 from the ages of 13 and 14. But as far as the streets was concerned, they're gonna say 1987, was a vital year because they're going to say it was at that time that he would jump off the porch in a sense 
because they're going to say that he was too young to get a job. And by that time, school was not part of his everyday agenda. Now, if you listen to Nas and even if you listen to some Mob Deep, you will hear details of that inside their music. And it's highly documented. I remember watching an interview where Ron Artest said that he would watch Lakey the Kid shooting at people from outside of his window. And it wouldn't be long before a lot of that chaos came back to haunt Lakey the Kid because he would end up doing a seven year bid on an attempt murder charge from 1992 to 1999, if I'm not mistaken. And in that specific time frame, a lot of the things had changed in QB and Lake would go on to quote, say that it was bugged when I came home because from 92 to 99, everything changed dramatically. I went to jail when Red Man's Time for Some Action and What's the Scenario remix was banging in Forerunners and Maximus was hot then. He's going to say when he came home, Nas was picking him up in a Bentley, bringing him to his mansion in Long Island. And it was at that time where he said to himself that he had to get up saying that Havoc and Capone driving him around in Cadillac trucks and white businesses owning houses. And then reflecting that most of the official respected street gangsters like Sherm No Worm, another gentleman by the name of YG and Spanked, who we mentioned earlier, not having what their hands called for didn't sit right with him. Now, I'm going to kind of identify that as the main thing with the Prodigy beef because they're going to say it was over tickets or it was a situation of disrespect and a lot of people asking why prodigy's mural and queensbridge is being defaced it's because some of those people that i mentioned are some of the forefathers of queensbridge if you really pay attention in a lot of the interviews where prodigy is breaking down the situation he references that that was halves man and if you know anything about Mob Deep, you know Havoc is born and raised in QB. Prodigy moved to Queensbridge afterwards. Havoc brother was a killer. So Havoc has stripes. But if you know anything about street niggas or the streets, you really got to play that shit like a chessboard. And Prodigy just kind of got caught in a situation where he kind of left a branch out there. And they had an angle to really grab on it because... Like he said in that interview, it just didn't sit right with him. And he was in jail holding it down because they're going to say he was catching charges in jail. Um, I seen where he was stabbed in his stomach in his sleep. And after coming home and even getting into the music industry, he still had one feet in the music business and one feet on the corner, as reported by the New York Post on June 14th, 2002 in an article tights shoot rapper beats rap where the new york post would go on to say a musician who raps about street violence and prison life was acquitted of charges that he shot at cops and queens now the prosecutors at his queen supreme court trial said that johnson ran from the shooting scene and that he shot at cops who were chasing him his defense lawyer stephen murphy would go on to say that the jurors saw inconsistency in the testimony from nine police officers that testified in that case. Now, this is really just the tip of the iceberg when you're talking about somebody like Lakey the Kid. But on a channel like Mob Ties, where we're covering gangsters, we're going to go all out in the efforts to cover everybody that needs to be represented that y'all might not know about from the streets and i'm just really doing my part y'all get in the comment box definitely if y'all from queensbridge if you ever had any run-ins with lakey the kid if y'all know anything about the situation now y'all make sure y'all follow me on instagram on twitter p-o-p -P underscore a underscore l-o-t y'all hit the bell right under this video so y'all know when this real trill spill shit is dropping and y'all already know what it is. Y'all get at me in the comment box below. Y'all DM me on Twitter, on Instagram. Y'all at me. Y'all tag me. Y'all text me, CC me, email me. 
Call me. However y'all want to handle it. I'm here for all of it. Y'all already know what it is. It's your boy Popalize. The mob. 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 Ties.